Yeah, we're into it. Um, still a stage near Malaga here, starting in Marbella, but uh, pretty hard stage to start off with. Going to be hot out there, a little bit up and down, and a bit of a 3k kicker up to the finish. There's a road I know I must go Even though I tell myself that road is closed I'm pretty bad at sitting still, so I gotta find something to do. So it's either this, but then when I can't pass the level and I run out of lives, I've gotta flip back to a um, bit of Harry Potter, you know? Um, pretty hard reading. Up as Prisoner of Azkaban, number three, so just learning about magic, a flick and a swish. Oh, no, swish and a flick. I'm on uh, the monk who sold his Ferrari. Interesting read, it's spiritual, talks about some good life philosophies. Ah, it's a good read. Would recommend. Would, would recommend, yes. So are you trying to tell me? That, that is more influential than reading Harry Potter. I'm or playing good. Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we are uh, starting with these new tubulars. Everyone seems to be happy. The performance seems to be very good for these first stages. Let's see, let's hope to, to keep on uh, with this mood uh, for the whole Vuelta and for the whole season. I remember three years to go, he win uh, Esteban this stage, in this same uh, finish. On try with the brother today, why not? It's a very uh, black for more maps. Precarious it's process. The, the old one? Okay. Oh, big it, word, say, big uh, words. Right? Yeah, one day down, though it's only... <laughs> What excitement! <laughs> but it's only 8k, so I guess the real race starts today. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Got a look. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be warm. Not too much, but we're gonna have fun. It's starting finally. Sort of. Yeah. See how it goes. Just cruising. Yeah. Just cruising about. Nah, it'll be good. It's gonna be hot. Tricky roads. Uh, but we, we weekended the other day, so we know it's coming. Um, so yeah, should be a good day. All good, all good. Ready for the stage, yeah. hot one, climbing one. Ah, oh, starts with the boomer, seven k climbs. I will see. Um, yeah, look, we really we've come here. We need to look after Yates. He make sure he's in that um, group with the key riders at the finish. So that's the main objective. Uh, and then you know it's, maybe it's a good finish potentially for Alba. So we'll just have to see how it pans out. So every night when I get home from work, I usually see what you've been up to. All the antics on the bus and everything. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, well... Simon. Simon, of course. <laughs> and then after that, well, just, I'm not really bothered. <laughs> There's no real favourites in this no. race, is there? I just love the, cycle, the whole cycling thing, yeah. Um, our main goal was obviously to keep um, Simon protected all day and get him to the finish again. Oh finish today without losing any time within the group of the favourites. That's our main goal. Stage two of the Volta a España and the peloton head out onto the open road. Look what's most expensive for a bit of. So guys, there's uh, plenty of riders sitting up now, so you guys are um, Conservation mode for the day. As they rounded the final corner, it was Alejandro Valverde who first won a stage of the Volta Espana 16 years ago, collected stage victory number 10 in his career at the Volta Art Espana. Oh, that was uh, a bit harder than expected, to be honest. And uh, it was real warm out there, especially like those final 30 k's in that valley. Really baking under the sun, but um, yeah, hard finish. Not extreme heat, but uh, still 34 degrees. Very, uh, very similar to the weather to the, wet, the uh, temperatures we have in Australia in January, actually. About zero percent humidity and like an oven, like an oven. Which look, it's it's hurt a lot of guys. Uh, I think it was only 30 guys, 30, 40 guys at the finish, and already a bit of a shift in the old GC uh, table already. Oh, day one, it's hot. Uh, we were expecting that. White jerseys without nothing to the rest, but I was happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I don't know the rest of it, but I think we ride pretty good. So, first day is done, so we're going for tomorrow already. 19 to go. 19 to go. Ooh la 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 la. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. 
I reckon uh, give this to Nicky tonight. Um, don't need the old salt, just get it off me. Oh, bloody new decoration, you know. Um, yeah, no, that was pretty solid. Um, probably shouldn't be joking about like that. <laughs> it's gonna be a long, a long three weeks, so. Uh, yeah, no, it was a pretty quiet day on all fronts. Um, maybe it ended up being a little bit harder than we anticipated. Not so much because of the course, but because of the uh, hot environmental conditions. But, um, you know, Simon was uh, good in the finish, lost a few seconds. But, um, you know, I think that's exactly probably what we would have expected today. And uh, we're still feeling good about things. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. A lot of big favourites lost time today. A lot of people we'd um, expected might be in the in the race for a few more days, being competitive, um, have lost time. So I suspect tomorrow is going to be all on to try and get in the breakaway for many teams tomorrow. Um, so we're going to anticipate a pretty hard start and we'll just see if Sky and um, the quick step with Viviani can control it for the sprint. You excited about Marbella, mate? We're yeah. very excited about it here. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got your bikini parked? Yes. Have you? Yes. yes. We're just trying to work out how to get there. So we'll follow the bus. It's tactical. It's tactical. It's pre-fuel. No, I get, because I've got more lunch in there. Ah. So I can space it out throughout the day without feeling like I'm overdoing it. Maintain constant energy levels and finish strong. Peak. Peak. Peak for the finish. I had a great day. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was lovely. Side of the road, get some bottles. Watching Edmo have a little stack. Did you help me? There was, there was a few people <laughs> between you and me at the time I couldn't get across. <laughs> so no, I didn't help him. <laughs>